Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Jankovic. Hola. I'm ready to read you another story. And today's story is special because some of the words are in Spanish. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and an author that we want to learn more about is Arthur Doros. Today's book was written by Arthur Doros and it's called Abuela. Let's read. Abuela by Arthur Doros, illustrated by Elisa Clevin. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today we are going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos pajaros, Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds, they're picking up the bread we bought. What if they picked me up and carried me high above the park? What if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was. Swooping like a bird, I'd call her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba the bird. Rosalba el pajaro, she'd say. Ven, abuela. Come, abuela, I'd say. Si quiero volar, abuela would reply as she leaped into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We would fly all over the city. Mira, Abuela would say pointing. And I'd look as we soared over parks and streets, dogs and people. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias, Good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains. And glide close to the sea. Cerca del mar, we'd say. We'd almost touch the tops of waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I'll bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangoes, bananas, papayas, those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuela's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once unloading and loading the ships. Out past the boats in the harbor, we'd see the Statue of Liberty. Mi gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos al aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We'd have to be careful as we went for a short ride. Then we could fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they'd offer us cool limonada. Flying is hot work. Pero quiero volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly to Las Nubes, the clouds. One looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. Te 
Descansemos un momento, Abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair. And Abuela would hold me in her arms and the whole sky our house. Nuestra casa. We'd be as high as airplanes, balloons, and birds, and higher than the tall buildings downtown. But we'd fly there, too, and look around. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, papá, I'd say as I waved, and Abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the windows. Mira, I hear Abuela say. Look, she's telling me. I do look, and we are back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otro aventura, she says. She wants to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed that story about Abuela, a grandma. I thought it was amazing when they flew all over. How cool would that be to fly over the city and look at all the cool places? Stop at your aunt and uncle's store and have some lemonade? I think it would be so much fun. That Abuela knew how to have a good time. All right, we'll read it again soon. Bye-bye.